I'm Charlie Roadman, Austin criminal defense attorney, and I'm here with my law partner, Mariana Spiritu. And uh, today I want to chat about um, the new Travis County Pretrial Diversion Program, um, actually the DWI Pretrial Diversion Program, um, and that, which is very new in the last uh, six months or so. They've overhauled it. And so, um, Marianne, I, I mean, we both know a lot about this, but, but let me just start with you. Mm-hmm. Um, what is different about the, the new program here in 2021? So the new program here, 2021, um, we have a new county attorney, Delia Garza, and she has completely overhauled the program. And I think the new changes are just fantastic. Um, so going back it used to be where our dwi clients could not get into the program at all so this is typically called a first-time offender program pre-trial diversion first-time offender program and even though it would be our clients first arrest for anything ever um, they were not allowed into the program and so then it was changed to where first-time dwi clients could apply for the program but there were very strict parameters there could not have been an accident even an accident where the client hit a curb and just you know um, messed up his own car and and if it was any kind of accident he couldn't get in the program and also the blood alcohol had to be under a specific limit 0.15 and so that excluded a lot of clients even though this was their first and only mistake and so this year the program has been expanded and they are evaluating the accident um, you know factor they are they they evaluate that individually if that if it's a one person accident they will look at that individually versus just saying no you cannot come into this program and also um, they have raised the blood alcohol to 0.19 and so if you're a 0.19 or under and you have not had an accident or you've had an accident that they um, have evaluated and feel that it is you know still in your best interest to be in the program then you will be allowed to apply and it, it's it's really kind of amazing you and i i mean i've done this for 20 years you for 15 mm-hmm. it's uh this this type of option has never existed before you know that that for a lot of these people you know it's before right. you know when we first started i mean it was hard to get any type of dismissal and and that is the thing about this program is that if you complete it it's a dismissal yeah and it's expungible okay which is just like that's of course, the holy grail for all criminal defense results is an expungible disposition. Right. You know, and the th- and the the obviously the the most important thing about this current one is that it, while you do have to have alcohol monitoring for a year, they're allowing the ignition interlock device in your car, um, which you know people of course cringe. They don't want that, but it's um, it's so much better than what they had before which is this portable device that you had to blow into four times a day or three times a day, and that, that there's a lot of opportunities for error, um, even if you weren't drinking. The, the ignition interlock device in your car, um, you know, it's you don't have to blow into it multiple times a day. So, you know, you just blow into it when you're driving. And it's just uh, the, the opportunities to screw up the program are just so – they're less, you know. So, right. And, and – you know, when I'm talking to people now, and, and no one wants that device in their car, right? I mean, it's <laughs> never met someone that did. Um, yeah. But um, what I say, it's a, it's a bargain to get a dismissal, you know, on a DWI. It's just, man, you know, yeah. you shouldn't even blink. I agree. I agree. And make no mistake, this program is not easy. We don't want to make it sound easy either, but... Um, it is the surest way to get a dismissal because um, if you know yourself and you know that you're not going to um, drink during the program, you know that you will always um, you know, blow into your alcohol monitor and do everything that they say, um, it's a dismissal. Right. It's a sure dismissal. And so it is the, the, the surest way to 
get a dismissal and then an expunction, which I like to describe the expunction as um, you think of a sponge erasing something and it the expunction when completed should erase everything as if this never happened. Right, right. And so one of the, um, the th- that is a, a condition of the program that you're not allowed to drink for a year, you right. know. And I like to say that means not on your birthday, <laughs> not on New Year's Eve, not on Thanksgiving, not at the Super Bowl, like no drinking at all, okay? And um, now if they, if you get kicked out of the program, like, catch you drinking, which the, the way that happens is people blow into their ignition interlock device with some alcohol, either from the night before or some other, you know, but enough that they go, we, you're clearly drinking. Mm-hmm. Then part of the, the program is you've agreed to plea no contest to a DWI, getting back time or 12 months probation. Um, so that's what's hanging over your head. So if you get, you get in trouble, um, you're agreeing to, to take the conviction. Um, or the probation. Right. Um, when when you enter the program, you sign away your right to challenge the DWI ever. And so um, challenging the DWI is usually what, you know, if your case, if you're like, I'm not guilty or I'm, I, I don't feel like I was intoxicated, well, then we'll just take this to trial and let six people decide. But with this, you know, if you mess up the program and you're like, but, you know, the original case, I, I you know, I just don't think that I was intoxicated. We've waived that right mm-hmm. to have six people evaluate your case. Right. And, you know, one of the other things that's, that's uh, I, I think, important to know on this uh, program um, is that the county attorney, it's they decide whether they let you in or not. Right, so you could even meet all the criteria, and there's something about your case that they don't like. Mm-hmm. Okay, like maybe, uh, you know, there is no accident, but you're driving the wrong way on a major road. Mm-hmm. You know, so it is. Uh, I sort of say like a Roman emperor. They can say thumbs up, you're in, or thumbs down, you're you're not in. And there are, you know, we can sort of ask higher up levels to to make an exception. Um, but ultimately, if they say, no, you're not in the program, then you're not. There's there's no constitutional right to be in the program. Um, right. right. So. No constitutional right to be in the program. No constitutional right to stay in the program. And I think that's where you and I come in um, as attorneys. Um, they could deny anyone that they want to. And we it's up to us to present the mitigation the, the factors of why this person deserves to be in this program or why they need this program and deserve another chance. And, and that application, often we're, we're attaching other things to that application, proof that you've already completed the, the class, you know, because there are classes and there's some things, you know, we, that's when we're submitting the application or during that, that process, we're trying to give them extra reasons for them to, to let you in. Right. Um, so, well, thank you. 